Okay, continuing with this upgrade. Okay, so now I've, I've pushed the restart button and I've gotten this far. Now I'm using my droid for this part. And this is my complaint right now with Grub 2. Uh, first of all, <laughs> and uh, I'll just do this as a part of the whole thing. <clears throat> for one, uh, it's not using the resolution that the you know, monitor is designed for, but. Yeah, that's that's not that big of a deal. I haven't even dealt with that with my Grub One. We have one, two, three, four, five, six entries for Ubuntu. The only one that matters to me is the 2.6.35 entry. The other ones won't boot. So you you actually have one, two, yeah. And then the recovery mode matters somewhat. If you can't get a graphic user interface, you may be able to get your <laughs> your desk back that way. Um, you got two memory tests. I got a Windows 7. I got a Linux something or other on Dev SDA 10. I got a Slackware. I got the older version of Ubuntu. Linux Mint. Windows. Another Windows Vista. Another Linux Mint. More open SUSE and then Fedora 13, and guess what? No, no Mandrake. Or maybe that's Mandrake. Who knows, right? I do have a Linux Mint. Um, I'm trying to see if anything up there's Slackware, but sometimes I've had problems just booting back into these things after Grub thinks it's smarter than I am and it's good to be lazy. So at least one of the developers said that. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. see how this goes. Now I haven't really messed with Ubuntu yet, but I notice under s some conditions if you uninstall or, or change your graphics or things of that nature, sometimes you just get a black screen. And, and again, I think right now I have a chance that because it was going to remove the a ATI graphic driver, um, I have a chance that this is going to end up just being just this, just a black screen. Um, but I do see that I have, a, this looks a little better, this looks a little more promising. Go in here. Well, here it comes, moment of truth. You know, either I'm going to be logged in or I'm going to be blacked out. So we'll find out what happens. <laughs> sign that I probably have a graphical environment. Now, I don't know what the guy was talking about, but to me this looks exactly the same. I don't see purple and orange anywhere. Um, he, he may have done a, you know, a, a brand new install. Let's see what I can do with my background here. That was the old default background, so they let you keep that, I suppose. Uh, <coughs> it's a couple choices, whatever. So I'll get the snail just for let's see if my visual effects are on. I still have my wobbly windows. Now let's try this thing here. That looks cool. Okay. Signify I'm in a new system. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Or should I stop? Let's see. Now what this guy was saying is that they they, they replaced F spot with some other application called Showtel. But besides that, all your default basic applications are gonna be the same. But I think I'm going to want to try this GUVC viewer. It's a little more orangey, but up here it's still brown. Um, yeah, so nothing really seemed to have been lost in regards to the GUVC viewer. This looks nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to probably spend a lot of time doing this artwork, so appreciate it, I suppose. Firefox should be 3.6 if they got rid of 3.5. Hopefully, I'm not absent Firefox. No, I'm not. And let's see, just. No, I don't. Help about Mozilla Firefox is 3.6.10, so it's pretty much up to date. And it feels a little. There's a little tiniest bit smoother, and I've always noticed that Ubuntu always seemed to run smooth. There's a little bit of shading up there. Um, let's see, are my wine apps still working? Let's find out. 
Yep. Still have my Internet Explorer, and they're still going to tell me I need to try Internet Explorer 8, which I don't give a damn about. Apps we've got. Pretty much everything looks the same to me. I haven't really lost anything. Um, games. Okay, I got, now, this guy was saying that F-Spot was removed in favor of Showtel, but I still see it here, so let's see. If F-Spot is going to start, or if that's a dead... Wait, no, it's not. So, it hasn't really been replaced. They just added the additional Showtel program, which I've never tried. I've never even tried F-Spot either. Um, everything looks the same, so I'll stop and I'll continue in there.